um, this is going to be a serious video. It's re regarding a, a medical update regarding myself. Um, I, uh, I'm very concerned, very worried about this. I've got a lump right here. It's about this large and that tall. And it's, it's very sore. It hurts very badly to bend or to move. And it, it came about at the worst possible time. I've had this... I've had this lump. I'm very concerned. I'm very worried about it. I'm going to continue doing ASMR videos. I've got some made that I'm going to post eventually, the ones that I've made. And uh, But I wanted to share what happened. I have no idea what that noise is over there. But it looks like the lamp's making a weird crackling noise. I don't know why, but maybe, some, maybe something's saying hello. I don't know. Anyway, um, back to this. It's it's about like that, and about that wide, and it just started growing within the past two weeks, and it was just a tiny, a tiny lump when I was in high school about ten years ago, and it was it started out as a pea-sized lump, and it was started out that small, and then it started it just grew a little and quit, and they said if it doesn't cause you pain or pain during daily activity, to just ignore it. And then it, it wasn't cancerous. That's what they said. It wouldn't be cancerous if it didn't cause pain. And now, 10 years later, I used to have cover kids then. They would examine everything and do everything and pay for it under the government. Thank goodness. Now, I'm under my, my father's insurance for his truck driving job is not the greatest insurance there's a five thousand dollar deductible and it's it's yeah and um forgot to make some of some more sounds i guess um but it's a five thousand dollar deductible and um this lump started growing in the past two weeks and it resembles the symptoms of lipoma, lipoma. And I'm, 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 I'm concerned that it could be cancerous. And, uh, I'm under my, I'm under my father's insurance only till August, and then I can no longer be on it. Right now I've stayed home helping my mama out. I'm, I'm there for my mama. I do the shopping for her, bring groceries in, take care of mama, and because she's disabled, but they won't help her. The system won't help her. And um, so that's my that's my situation. And I'm only on that insurance till August third. And then this whole government shutdown, this whole country wide, worldwide shutdown took place, which is crazy to even think about. All the whole planet shut down, but. Um, now the dentists aren't open, the doctor's offices don't want you to go in unless you're deadly sick. And here's the thing, I um I didn't this right this lump here, it was this large now. It's this large now. And that tall. I mean that it's growing. It grew within it's grown more in the past week. And I'm I'm very, very concerned about it. And uh I hope and pray that it's not cancer, that it's not cancerous, that it can be, I actually would rather it go down without having to have CT scans and uh, without having to have biopsies done and all of that because we don't need that medical cost right now or anytime really, but it's, it's very, I try to show it, but you really can't, I can't get the I can't try to get a good view but it's very um bothersome and it has caused more pain recently than it's ever caused they told me that ah, they don't have to remove it 10 years ago they don't have to remove it if it doesn't grow it's not cancerous if it doesn't start growing it just started growing in the past week since the whole shutdown actually 
that's when it started growing. And it started growing a lot. And honestly, uh, I've just been hoping, I've been praying. We've all been praying and hoping that it's not cancerous. That it's not something life-threatening. That it's not bad. We're all, we're all hanging in there. We're all hanging in this together. I wanted to do some ASMR role plays, and I haven't felt like it. I want to do some ASMR videos. I haven't really felt like doing them. I'm going to, regardless, because you just got to keep on keeping on. You just keep doing what you can do. And uh, But now is not the time you really want to go to a doctor or a hospital at all. And you don't want to do that anytime, really, but... The lump is growing, and it reminds me of lipoma, and it's swollen, it causes, it's on the sternum, uh, well, right of the chest cavity, right here, right, right there, that's the size of it, right there, right there, and it's very, very hard, it's become very hard, the so and there's only the middle of the top is soft. I was hoping it would just pop where you just lance it, but it hasn't. I had one in my arm years ago. That one just kind of went away, thank the Lord, thank goodness. But it, it this one's not. And um, I'm really concerned about it. I'm very concerned about it. And uh, the medical costs, I don't. I'm out of the, the insurance, the insu or my insurance, it ends in August, on August 3rd, and with this shutdown thing, I don't know, honestly, I don't know, things are so uncertain, and um, yes, I'm still going to be trying to make videos and things like that, but I'm concerned, I'm really worried about what's going on. It's sore, it hurts, it's growing, the middle part's numb, but it's stinging, sharp pains, bruised, it's bruised, it's very red, it has fever in it, and it hurts, which are all signs of the lipoma stuff, and I don't want to think about that, but of all things to just come out of nowhere, it seems like one thing at a time was just kind of going crazy. And then one, one other thing at a time just started going out on me or messing up. You know, I'm talking about devices and things like that. But then this happened. It started growing exponentially in the past two weeks. Growing substantially, not exponentially. That would mean nonstop, but growing substantially in the past two weeks. And... Honestly, honestly, I'm worried. Genuinely, genuinely worried about it. That's why I'm on here. That's why I'm here. Right now, I'm talking. Um, I don't know what else to say. Um, honestly, we're all hanging in there as best we can. How are you doing? I was going to make a video with this. This right here as well. I just picked that up. That actually makes nice sounds. That makes nice sounds. And it smells really nice too. It's a Hawaiian retreat smell by Wizard the Magic Refresh. These little soap balls or crystal beads of air fresheners, whatever they are. I think I'll do a video of that next. Probably not tonight. I need to get some rest. I had a, a friend of mine on YouTube who informed me that they have they're they're going through a, a situation. So I'm, my prayers are with them as well. Um, this YouTuber, this person who goes by the name of Zach, was messaging me telling me to pray for them. And they're going through a, a situation of whatever they're going through right now that they they're dealing with some medical issues 
and um, Lord knows who they are, so prayers for them, and uh, several other individuals, um, they're good friends of mine on YouTube, and uh, so prayers are with them, but I'm really worried about what's going on, see, my daddy just, he, father, my father just went to, um, he months ago went to the, the, the annual hospital for testing, they didn't even look where he was actually hurting. They looked in the pelvic area and said, oh, there's a growth there. But he didn't feel anything there. He feels in his right side. And they wanted to do examinations biopsies there, not in his right side where he was hurting. Me, this lump here, just started. And see, it hurts to even touch it. And it's now, and they say online that they want to do tests and things on that, but that's expensive. We don't need these more. We don't need these more tests right now more expenses right now everything shut down things are very slow right now and i'm sure you're in the same situation my prayers and thoughts and energy go to you all as well but i'm worried i'm very concerned i mean i'm not working i have no i mean i'm under my father's insurance right now the my insurance the insurance ends on august 3rd on my birthday of this year so less than four months away my insurance ends. And I've got this problem that just started growing substantially. A large, it looks like a large lump, and it started growing. Years ago, it was nothing. And it just started growing in the past two weeks. Why now? I don't know. I just needed to share this. It started growing substantially, and it looks like lymphoma. Lipoma. I don't know. I don't know why these crazy things happen. I honestly don't. But if anyone can, anyone could donate, I need to have some tests done. I need to see what's going on. And I need, I'm going to need to just get some medical work done if this doesn't go away. And uh, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. The insurance ends in four months, less than four months. So, but I want to try to keep positive for everyone, anyone who's lost loved ones. I'm so sorry, and those suffering through this, the virus, this illness, normal flu, whatever you're going through. Just my prayers and love and positive energy go to you because these are some unprecedented times we're in, and I, uh, I just needed to share. My link is below. My links are below. If you'd like to show financial support, comments below for for prayers. I love you all so.